Just thought I'd make a quick video today running down the 2017 Academy Award nominations, my predictions, what I think could happen, just that basic stuff. So let's just get right into it right off the bat. Let's start with Best Picture. The nominations are Arrival, Fences, Hacksaw Ridge, Hell or High Water, Hidden Figures, La La Land, Lion, Manchester by the Sea, and Moonlight. Now, I don't understand why we need to have like 10 picture nominations. All these movies are, of course, deserving to be best picture, but this is going to be La La Land's year. They're going to sweep away if a lot of awards. If there's one that has a chance of stopping them winning best picture, it's Moonlight. So if I had to predict the winner for best picture, it's between La La Land or Moonlight. Both very deserving movies. I personally would like to see Moonlight take the lead. But this is going to be La La Land's year. They're going to sweep the floor with all the other competition. Alright, next we have actor in a leading role category. The nominees are... Not Ben Affleck. Casey Affleck, Manchester by the Sea. Andrew Garfield, Hacksaw Ridge. Ryan Gosling, La La Land. Vico Mortensen, Captain Fantastic. And Denzel Washington, Fences. This is going to be Ryan Gosling again. I, I'm going to put my money on La La Land with Ryan Gosling taking the lead. But I would love to see Andrew Garfield get the award for what he did in Hacksaw Ridge. And even in Silence, this has been a good year for Andrew Garfield. It was a really out there choice to put Andrew Garfield in. I was not expecting him to get nominated for Hacksaw Ridge. I would love to see him take the award. Viggo Mortensen, there's no chance that Viggo Mortensen is going to win this. I wish they replaced him with somebody else. I don't know who, but... Or, even so, Casey Affleck did really good this year. I have not seen Manchester by the Sea. I do not want to. It does not look interesting to me. But everything I've heard about Casey Affleck in that role makes me think it could be him, too. He did win the Golden Globe. That is a good start. But so did Ryan Gosling. And I think out of the two, Ryan Gosling has the better chance. So now, actress in a leading role. The nominees are Isabelle Huppert for L. Ruth Nega for Loving, Natalie Portman for Jackie, Emma Stone, La La Land, and of course, like every other year, Meryl Streep for Florence Foster Jenkins. Yeah, Meryl Streep is nominated for, I think, her 20th time now, and uh, she's not going to win. She's not going to win for this performance. That's pretty obvious. Isabelle Huppert would be good to see win. Elle would be a really nice movie to put on the map like that. I would... Love it if Ruth Nega got some love. She's a great actress. She was great and loving Preacher. She is incredible in Preacher. If you haven't seen Preacher, check out that series. But the two I would like, the two I think have the chance of winning are Natalie Portman and Jackie and Emma Stone La La Land. Again, like I said earlier, La La Land's going to have a clean sweep. They're going to take it all. So Emma Stone's definitely going to win this. Natalie Portman is the underdog there, though. I'd love to see her win. I love Natalie Portman as an actress. And the Kennedy story is one of my favorite stories and everything about Jackie and what this character did. It's incredible to see. I would love it if Natalie Portman won, but Emma Stone's going to clean it. So, so far for Best Picture, Best Actor in a Leading Role, and Best Actress, La La Land's going to have a clean slate. So, Best Actor in a Supporting Role. The nominees are Mahershala Ali for Moonlight. Heller Highwater's Jeff Bridges, who we talked about earlier. Lucas Hedges in Manchester by the Sea. Dev Patel for Lion, and Michael Shannon for Nocturnal Animals. This is a good category. All these actors are very deserving of their role. And the nomination list is incredible, to say the least. Michael Shannon, I could see winning. Uh, Aaron Taylor Johnson won at the Golden Globes for Nocturnal Animals, and it was I was surprised to see that Michael Shannon didn't win. Jeff Bridges deserves this, because what he did in Hell or High Water was so... Not anything I would have expected to see from Jeff Bridges, and I guess it makes sense for the character coming of age, realizing he's not going to be able to catch these guys. It's a lot like No Country for Old Men, but it's Hell or High Water's a really good movie. But I think the actor that will win is going to be Mahershala Ali for Moonlight. He did incredible. Mahershala is a great actor. This has been a great year for him, and I cannot wait to see him walk up and get that award. Now for an actress in supporting role, the nominees are Viola Davis for Fences, Naomi Harris for Moonlight, Nicole Kidman for Lion, 
Octavia Spencer for Hidden Figures, and Michelle Williams for Manchester by the Sea. This is probably the most stacked category of all because all these actresses are so good in what they do. And it's just so nice to see a lot of diversity up here with Viola Davis, Naomi Harris, and Octavia Spencer. But again, everything I've heard from Manchester by the Sea, a movie I do not want to see, a movie I'm not excited for. Michelle Williams has a very important scene, and I could see it going to Michelle Williams, but who I would like to see is Viola Davis. She w She's an incredible actress. Fences is a very powerful, emotional movie, and I think she can deserve to win this. So... I'm going to go with Viola Davis takes the Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress. Now for an animated feature film, this is a really good category. The nominees are Kubo and the Two Strings, Moana, My Life as a Zucchini, The Red Turtle, and Zootopia. This, without a doubt, is going to go straight to Zootopia. The impact that movie had, the cultural impact, the story behind it, everything about that movie mattered and it was important to see and I think Zootopia is going to take the award for Best Anime Feature Film. If it was Kubo and the Two Strings, that would not surprise me. But I think Zootopia's got it. And now for cinematography, a category that goes really underappreciated because you need a good cinematographer for your movie in order to even work. So the nominees are Arrival, La La Land, Lion, Moonlight, and Silence. It's nice to see Silence get its first nomination up here out of everything we talked about. But it's between Arrival and La La Land, both movies completely different, but the cinematography, the directing, the scope of those movies were so good. And again, this is going to be a clean sweep for La La Land. I personally want to see Arrival win this award because it was beautiful, but La La Land, I think, is a better movie altogether, so La La Land's going to win for cinematography. And costume design, an interesting category. We have Allied, Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, Florence Foster Jenkins, Jackie, in La La Land. There's not much to be said about this category. If I had to guess who's going to win, it's either going to be Flores Foster Jenkins or La La Land. And with the amount of buzz La La Land has going into it, I think La La Land's going to get the award. Now for probably the hardest category on this entire bracket, sort of, is for directing. The nominees for Best Directed Movie are Arrival by Denis Villeneuve, Hacksaw Ridge for Mel Gibson, which is surprising to see Mel Gibson get a nomination. La La Land of Damien Chazelle. Manchester by the Sea by Kenny Lagerman. And Moonlight by Barry Jenkins. Directing, it's hard to say. I think Mel Gibson has a chance, but there's so much badness behind Mel Gibson that maybe he won't get nominated. Or win, I guess, because he did get nominated. He probably won't win. I would love to see Mel Gibson win, but I don't think he will. Barry Jenkins, I think, will surprise people. I could see Barry Jenkins taking this for Moonlight, but again, it's between Denis Villeneuve and Damien Giselle for La La Land and for Arrival. And I think directing should go to Denis Villeneuve for Arrival because, yes, there's no doubt in my mind, La La Land was directed beautifully, it was shot beautifully, every scene was so well done, but the scope and the angles and the way the camera moved and just... The whole feel of the movie in Arrival was so beautiful, so revolutionary, and so different that I would love to see Denis Villeneuve get the directing for Arrival. And for film editing, a lot of the same nominations for director. We got Arrival, Hacksaw Ridge, Hell or High Water, La La Land, or Moonlight. This for film editing, I think it will go to La La Land. Again, La La Land's going to have a big clean sweep here. They're going to get it. I would love to see it for Hell or High Water. That was a beautiful movie. Moonlight was another one that just could do it. And even Arrival. But La La Land's going to clean the sweep here with film editing. And now for an interesting one. Makeup and hairstyling. The nominees are A Man Called Ove, Star Trek Beyond, and Suicide Squad. None of which I thought would even make it into here. Which is amazing and it's going to be obvious that Suicide Squad's going to win there's just something about it I didn't not like Suicide Squad I thought it was a badly made movie but I can see it winning them here the way that Harley Quinn the way the Joker looked all the makeup for the characters and the hairstyling yes I can see it winning because I'm pretty sure Killer Croc was makeup I, I can't remember so Suicide Squad hair and makeup that's what I'm calling 
And for original score, the nominees are Jackie, La La Land, Lion, Moonlight, and Passengers. Yeah, Passengers for its first nomination. It's going to be La La Land. That It's a musical. So, original score, La La Land. And for original music, I don't know why we have two songs from La La Land on here, but we have The Audition and City of Stars, both from La La Land. And one of them is going to win, because the other, the other nominees, they're to be desired. The Empty Chair, no, it's not going to win. The Empty Chair is not going to win. Can't Stop the Feeling from Trolls, maybe. It, it's it's a good song. People know the song. And it's nice to see Justin Timberlake be nominated. But it's going to be City of Stars or The Audition. But one that might surprise everyone is How Far I'll Go From Moana. I can see this one taking the award. It was a beautiful song. It's an inspirational song. And I can see it winning the award. And it would be really nice to see that. So now let's go to the category of visual effects. One, I, I love this category. It's nice to see these movies get nominated. So the nominees are Deepwater Horizon, Doctor Strange, The Jungle Book, Kubo and the Two Strings, and Rogue One, A Star Wars Story. Without a doubt, it's surprising to see Kubo and the Two Strings on here. And it's really good to see that too, because it's a nice movie. It's interesting to see that it will be nominated. The two I think have the chance of winning are Doctor Strange because it is a mind trip when you watch that movie. Everything that the visuals do, it's like you're on an acid trip and it's so good. But Jungle Book's going to win. I am almost positive Jungle Book is going to win. And because nothing that happened in the Jungle Book wasn't done in a set on a green screen except for Mowgli. And you see these animals move and you're like, that bear is talking. That tiger is talking. Ben Kingsley is literally a panther. It, and it's so revolutionary in terms of the visual effects, so Jungle Book's going to win for visual effects. And for the final two categories we're going to talk about, we're not going to talk about foreign film or documentary or any of that. We're going to talk about Best Adapted Screenplay. And the nominees are Arrival, Fences, Hidden Figures, Lion, and Moonlight. I, I'm a huge fan of screenplay. I love seeing how these work and the story behind them. And I think Moonlight's going to win because this movie was the most powerful of anything on this list. And that's saying a lot because Hidden Figures, Fences, and Lion, they're really powerful movies. They speak to you on so many levels and get you emotionally. And Arrival, even to that effect. Arrival is emotional. It makes you feel for the characters. But Moonlight's going to win for Best Adapted Screenplay. And then for Original Screenplay, the nominees are Hell or High Water, La La Land, Manchester by the Sea, 20th Century Woman, and The Lobster. I love The Lobster. The movie makes me more depressed than any other movie I've seen this year, and it makes me almost want to just cry because of how depressing and sobby it is. But yes, again, with a clean sweep, La La Land's going to win, because it's a story about Hollywood, and what does the Academy love more than itself is stories about Hollywood. So you can expect La La Land to take the victory for original screenplay. So now let's just recap everything, and I'll give you my final predictions for the categories we went through. Best Picture, La La Land. Actor in a leading role, Ryan Gosling for La La Land. Actress in a leading role, Emma Stone for La La Land. Best Actor in a supporting role, Mahershala Ali for Moonlight. Best Actress in a supporting role, Michelle Williams, Manchester by the Sea, or Viola Davis in Fences. Best Animated Feature Film, Zootopia. Best Cinematography, La La Land. Best Costume Design, La La Land. Best Directing, La La Land. Best Film Editing, Arrival or La La Land. Best Makeup and Hairstyling, Suicide Squad. Best Original Score, La La Land. Best Original Song, I will go with City of Stars from La La Land. And best visual effects will go with Jungle Book, best adapted screenplay, Moonlight, best original screenplay, La La Land. So there you go. There are my final predictions for the Academy Awards in 2017. Be sure to check out later. We'll have another video talking about the movies or the actors or anything else I thought should have been nominated 
Maybe it's a certain actress whose movie was nominated, but she did not get nominated for the movie. We're talking about you, Amy Adams. You deserve to be nominated for Arrival. All right, that'll do it for this installment. So, um, yeah, good luck. Stay tuned for more TV and movie reviews coming soon from this channel. Hope you enjoyed this video.